I've had the pleasure of working with many members of the church over the past three decades. And so I know that at last there are people with sufficient dedication, sufficient guts, and sufficient fortitude to carry on and make this city and world into a better place. We need a new world. To achieve this will require a new mentality. The new world cannot have people who are limited in their mentalities, but must, but must have mentalities set free. The new world must not just be a world of consumers, those who inhabit what is built but producers, those who will bring into being the things that were not. The Church of Scientology and your actions are indeed making a better world possible. I have observed that Scientology's great success is due in great part to this. It treats the whole person it deals holistically. It isn't segmented. It deals with the totality of the human experience, getting free for your best self. To be free is to be free for education, to be free for job training. It is to be free of the negativity that is prevailing in your life. It is to be free for everything, the new you. My friends, this new church is an opportunity to make change. I encourage you, the community, to take full advantage. You and I are constantly called upon by the poet to build the more stately mansions Oh, my soul. Well, here is a mansion that has been constructed by L. Ron Hubbard. He is an architect of the soul and a designer of dreams. Our challenge is to make use of what we have been given. And I am so very thankful for what you have given to us today. God bless you all. And let us all remember, the best way to make your dreams come true is to wake up. <laughs>